Job chapter 22, verse 1 today. Get your Bible, if you can. Open it up to Job chapter 2. My name is Michael Moret. The name of this program is Scripture Verse by Verse. You can study all of God's Word with me for complete series. This is the fifth, going back 37 years. Study it all. It's all saved. It's all archived at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, listen, study any part of the Bible or begin in the beginning and go all the way through Revelation verse by verse. However you want to do it, all you need to bring is your Bible and a hunger for God's word to the Bible verse by verse dot com. Father, sanctify us by your truth. Your word is truth in Jesus name. Amen. Then Eliphaz, the Temanite, answered and said, Can a man be profitable unto God, as he that is wise may be profitable unto himself? So the third and final round of speeches here begin with Eliphaz. Eliphaz says a wise person is useful to himself, but he doesn't contribute in any way to God. Because God is self-sufficient, of course. He doesn't need anything from anyone, including advice. Three, is it any pleasure to the Almighty that thou art righteous? Or is it gain to him that thou makest thy ways perfect? Eliphaz says that it is not that God does not desire us to be righteous, but it's that he doesn't profit from it. You know, you don't make his day. You don't make his day by simply obeying him because he's perfectly satisfied in himself. You get to obey him so that you are blessed by him. And yes, he enjoys having fellowship with us when we are obedient. And there are no sins blocking that uh, pipeline between us and God. But still, he's self-sufficient. He's satisfied. So, he does it for you. Four, will he reprove thee for fear of thee? Will he enter with thee into judgment? Eliphaz says, Job, God is not punishing you because you are holy. Job, you are being punished because you are unrighteous. Eliphaz does not have a single clue as to why Joseph Job is suffering, but he says this nonsense anyway. Reckless words. Five, are not thy wickedness great and thine iniquities endless? Eliphaz says, Job, you are suffering because there's no end to your sin. What a rotten thing to say to Job. Terrible thing. Six, for thou hast taken a pledge from thy brother, for nothing, and strip the naked of their clothing. What a jerk. What a lying piece of trash. Eliphaz accuses Job of taking things from the poor. And so that's why he should expect trouble. He Eliphaz continues and says, you took things that the poor needed. You had no good reason to do it. These accusations from Eliphaz have no basis in the truth whatsoever. This is slander. This is Satan at work, the accuser of the brethren. Seven. Thou hast not given water to the weary to drink. Thou hast withheld bread from the hungry. Eliphaz says, Job, you watch people die of thirst and you didn't share your water. It's another false accusation. Absolutely no basis in reality. Eight, but as for the mighty man, he had the earth, and the honorable man dwelt in it. Eliphaz says, you are a powerful man, Job. You were, anyway, and you were well off. Nine, thou hast sent widows away empty, and the arms of the fatherless have been broken. The arms of the fatherless refers to... The orphans God given right as human beings to be cared for. 
Eliphaz says, Job, you've crushed those rights. 10. Therefore snares are round about thee, and sudden fear troubleth thee. Eliphaz says, the tables have turned, Job, because you had caused suffering, so now you are the one suffering. Again, completely untrue, and a horrible thing to say to someone who has lost his family, his substance, and his health. 11. Or darkness that thou canst not see, and abundance of waters cover thee. Eliphaz says, you are bad, Job. And you are not only suffering, but you are in darkness, and you can't even tell why you are suffering. Oh, but he knows. Oh, sure. 12. Is not God in the height of heaven? And behold the height of the stars. How high are they? How high they are. Eliphaz says, God is in charge, Job. He's the one who's running the universe. And Job, all that you must do is to look to the stars to see that that's true. Yeah, big deal. What's that have to do with, with his accusations? 13, and thou sayest, how doth God know? Can he judge through the dark cloud? Eliphaz says that anyone who thinks that God does not see what they are doing because there's too much darkness, too many clouds blocking us between, between us and heaven, too much of a distance between us and God. God doesn't see. God doesn't understand. No, you don't understand God. Fourteen thick clouds are a covering to him that he seeth not, and he walketh in the circuit of heaven. Yeah, he just paces around, you know, God paces around looking, looking if he can take get a glimpse of what in the world we're doing here down on earth. It's a pathetic view of God. But some of the wicked people actually think that, you know, God is way up in heaven. He's surrounded by fog. He doesn't see what I'm doing. Eliphaz is right when he says anybody who believes that is wrong. 15. Hast thou marked the old way which wicked men have trod? The old way refers to rebellion against God, which is what Eliphaz is asking Job if he did. I don't know why he's asking since he already accused him of committing almost every sin in the book. 16. Who were cut down out of time, whose foundation was overthrown with a flood. Eliphaz is saying that those who rebelled in the past had the earth which they stood on washed away in the flood of Noah's day. True enough. 17. Who said unto God, Depart from us, what can the Almighty do for them? Wicked people in Noah's day and throughout all ages, for that matter, have basically told God to get lost. They thought that God would not or could not do anything to get them. 18. Yet he filled their houses with good things, but the counsel of the wicked is far from me. Eliphaz says, I just do not understand the thinking of evil people like that. God gives them everything that they have, and they treat him terribly. 19. The righteous see it and are glad, and the innocent laugh them to scorn. Eliphaz says that good people are relieved to see the punishment of the wicked. 20. Whereas our substance is not cut down, but the remnant of them the fire consumeth. Eliphaz is saying, righteous people say, at last our enemies and the enemies of God are finished. And they are relieved, and there will be relief when the wicked of the world, the impenitent sinners are finally gone, forgotten forever in the lake of fire, and we're on the new earth with our resurrected body. There will be relief. 21. Acquaint now thyself with him and be at peace. Thereby good shall come unto thee. Eliphaz says, give to God and then straighten out your walk with him and everything will be okay, Job. Just get your act together. Well, his act wasn't untogether. 22, receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth and lay up his words in thy heart. Job, just let God tell you what to do. Job always let God tell him what to do. Nobody kept the law of God 
better than Job. 23. If thou return to the Almighty, thou shalt be built up. Thou shalt put away iniquity very far from thy tents. Eliphaz says, God will rebuild your life if you just repent. Repent of what? And nothing for Job to repent of. Nothing that caused these catastrophes anyway. 24. Then shalt thou lay up gold as dust, and the gold of Ophir as the stones of the brooks. Job, you will once again have wealth if you return to God, is what Eliphaz is saying. 25. Yet the Almighty shall be thy defense, and thou shalt have plenty of silver. Eliphaz says, God will be your provider if you repent, Job. 26. For then shalt thou have thy delight in the Almighty, and shall lift up thy face unto God. Eliphaz says, Job, you will enjoy life with God if you repent. 27. Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee, and thou shalt pay thy vows. Eliphaz says, you will pray, and God will listen, if you get right with him, Job. 28. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. Job, you will choose what to do, and it will happen, says Eliphaz. 29. When men are cast down, then thou shalt say, There is lifting up, and he shall save the humble person. In other words, Eliphaz says, you will encourage the down and out, Job, if you get right with God yourself. You'll pray for the down and out, and God will help them. Just think all the good if you only repent. 30. He shall deliver the island of the innocent, and it is delivered by the pureness of thine hands. Eliphaz says, Job, your prayers are going to be so powerful if you just start walking with the Lord. Your prayers are going to be so powerful that you will pray for the guilty and they will be spared. How about that? But you got to repent. Wonderful. Repent of what? <laughs> these, these guys, these friends of Job are really ticking me off. You know that? I can see why God is so upset with them. And we'll see that in the final chapters. Well, with that, we'll stop for today. Now, you can study all of God's Word with me at the Scripture Verse by Verse website, found at thebibleversebyverse.com. If you'd like to be a part of Scripture Verse by Verse, you can be by praying for me and praying for God's Word. And when you take a break from studying with me at thebibleversebyverse.com, go to the front page, click the Donate button, and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. Until next time, Michael Moret for Scripture, verse by verse. So long, everyone.